it's Tanya Shaw here and this morning I am going to roast some spaghetti squashes so I thought I would show you how I do it. So these are right from my mom's garden. You're going to take the squash, cut the top off with a nice sharp knife. Once that's off I usually just put the cut side down and I cut it right in half. Beautiful. You put it face down onto a cookie sheet and you're going to put a little bit of water on the cookie sheet. That should be enough. Just be careful not to spill because I've done that once or twice before. Now my oven's at 350 right now. Sometimes I roast at 350, sometimes at 375, just depending on the size of the squash and how long it goes in there for. I'm going to open that up. Be nice and careful. And good to go. So with these squashes at uh, 350, I'm going to roast them for 45 minutes. Go set my timer. Perfect. And I will be back in about 45 minutes. All right, the timer has just gone off. It's been about 45 minutes now at 350 going to open the oven, let the heat <laughs> go away so I don't hurt myself. And I just touch the squashes with a fork just to see if it makes it that the skin is a little bit soft. And then All right, they're out of the oven. You can take a spoon, scoop out the pulp. It's nice and easy to come out once it's roasted. Put that into a compost and then just take a fork and you're going to scoop and the squash and it should be coming out as little spaghetti noodles, kind of like spaghetti noodles, not quite, but close enough. And then I just take a spoon and then just put that into a container and you can create a recipe right away or just store it in the fridge or also the freezer. And that's how you roast a spaghetti squash.